All right, it is time for Currently Reading Challenge, TBR, week number four. Hey everyone, it is Shannon, and I'm super excited to be here today and to share with you this video. This is going to be my fourth week of, or it's actually my fifth week, but it's week number four of my Currently Reading Challenge. I did have a dress rehearsal week, so it is my fifth week of doing this in this round. Um, and what it is, is that I am actively working towards reading the books on my Currently Reading. I've put all of the fiction titles in one jar and all of the non-fiction in another. I pick five fiction, no, three fiction to nonfiction, and from those five titles, I aim to read 75 pages a day, five days out of the week for a total of 375 pages. I post my TBRs here on Sundays and then weekly wrap-ups on Monday. Um, I have been really enjoying this challenge and it is really good to spend some time with my currently reading. Last thing I got into a bit of a weird spot, um, which maybe depending on what I end up picking, I'll, I'll talk about a little bit more. Um, just sort of like a real, I did some reflection and, and had a bit of an aha that actually happened a bit in last week's TBR. So anyway, it might not happen this week. So let's be in the now and see what happens. As always, I am going to start by picking from the fiction jar. So we'll see the first fiction title. I feel like these jars are like too big. Um, so let's see what the first one to pick is. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, this one. It feels like it's upside down. Ah! Nyao Saga! Okay. So Nyao Saga is, I never know whether to put this in fiction or nonfiction, to be honest, or Nyao Saga or the story of Burnt Nyao. This is an Icelandic saga. I started it back in March for Sagalong. Um, it is the longest of the sagas, and I have uh, 308 pages left of this one. Lots of short chapters, which is really good, and they're usually in sort of like mini arcs of like three to five of the chapters, but sometimes it's hard to tell if the arc has closed and they're on to a new one. Um, I have really enjoyed this. It is very dry um, because it's from, I don't know, is it like 1208 or something like that? Like, so, but yeah, okay, I'm excited because that's a good one to make some progress on because there's still a lot of ages, a lot of ages. Okay, so next up we go to nonfiction. And the first one is, the first one is, they're taking their time today. Oh, that one, that one is one. Woo! Central art history. Oh, it's right on the bottom. Hang on. So. I've been missing art history. So, Essential Art History, this is by Paul Duro and Michael Greenhaug. Um, and this is a lexicon, so it's just A to Z of art terms and movements and stuff. I am on the letter L. The first entry I have is Land Art, a movement from the 1960s related to conceptual art and against the urban sophistication of minimalism, I had no idea that minimalism was urban sophistication. Land art was an attempt to broaden the accepted boundaries of sculpture, making the environment not simply the context, but the material for the work itself. Oh, well, there you go. Learning already. It's early in the day for that, but hey, why not? I, I'm really enjoying this book. Again, it is Oh, those are both very dry, um, but I am enjoying it, and I love reading nonfiction art books, and um, I haven't started a new one for a while, and so I actually think it would be really good to, I'm not going to finish this this week because I have 138 pages, and it is at some, I, I can, with actually with this end with Nyal's, like I can only retain so much at a time, but I will definitely uh, make progress and that that's good enough for me okay essential art history yay okay next up next fiction what shall it be what shall it be i never know it's like i always like i do sort these like not sort these i do shuffle them a lot like in between so uh, i don't know about this one feels well used 
Oh, my God. Oh, my by Victor Hugo. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. These are all so dry. I'm going to get, like, ten pages read a day. Okay, so I don't have, I don't have the, uh, I should have brought the one with the actual cover on it. So I've split this into five volumes. I'm currently reading the second volume, I think. I did my own end pages. Uh -huh. Well, I glued them in. I didn't create that as a page. Um, I am in part two. <clears throat> I'm on page 389. And I have, like, overall, I have 915 pages left. But this, this goes to 516. So this is still 100. This is 125 pages. For this second book but I tend to read it 20 pages a day that's what I've done in the past and it's uh in that time I tend to read about 10 pages so I don't anticipate a huge amount of page number from this wow this and yells at the same time <laughs> well we still have two more picks I am enjoying Les Miserables um I'm very f I'm familiar with the story from the perspective of the musical because I did um see the musical multiple times and I pretty much know it off by heart but I know it off by heart but out of context so this is providing a lot of context and so um and I picked it up in March again for March of the Mammoth so um one of the trends of some of the books that are on my currently reading are things that I started for read-alongs or read-a-thons and didn't finish in the time in which they were set. Now Les Mis, I, like you could read whatever you want for March and the Mammoths. I think it has to be over 800 or pages or more and I didn't anticipate finishing it in March but I didn't anticipate only getting a, like a, a fifth of the way through or so. I can't remember where it was by the end of March. This also came up in May during the May version of the currently reading challenge. Okay. Second and last nonfiction. <laughs> I'm like, do I have any speedy nonfiction? Oh, wow. This is. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Which one to pick? Oh. Okay. This one. Oh, that looks very long. Oh, the diary of Aeneas Nin. Okay, jeez, this is another slow read. Okay, um, so the diary of Aeneas Nin. This one has come up several times. I um, this is one of the older ones I started. I think I started it in two thousand and nineteen. Uh, Aeneas Nin is an author. Uh, I, I still don't know if I'm saying their name right. Um, this is an absolutely wonderful work, and I had a block about reading it because often she references uh, literary works and, and people and relationships, and I'm always worried about sort of like getting spoilers mostly for the literary works. Um, but I got over that by sometimes if I'm getting into a section like that, I just skim it. So, um, but yeah, and she is absolutely wonderful um, in terms of her observation of people is extraordinary, and she's very... <laughs> Her writing is so good. It's so good. I'm loving it. So actually, I'm really happy about that. But my goodness, can we get something that's got a bait? Like, all of these are like... Anyway, well, we'll just see what happens with the last pick. Or maybe this is just, you know, the ones I haven't finished or the ones that take longer. Like, it could we could be at that point. Like, that could be what's going on. I, I'm just... That's, Oh, for that, sorry, I forgot to say, for the Diary of Aeneas, I have 300, oh, 277 pages left. Okay, so I broke the 300 page mark at some point. It's, I think it's 400 pages. Oh my gosh, I just, oh, well, it has spoken. It has spoken. I can't, I can't get it. I can't get it. Okay, there we go. It's upside down. For <laughs> The Girl Who Played With Fire by Stig Larsson. This is the second in the Millennium Trilogy that has created more books. And it's not a trilogy and it's been continued by another author. Okay, so this is a mystery. 
thriller that was made into a film. I have seen the film. I've seen the trilogy, the original trilogy. Um, I have a lot of pages left on this. 334 pages. This might be where I make up the pages because to be honest, I want to finish this. I finished, started this, I don't remember if it was last year or the year before. I started it for a readathon and I'm not enjoying it, but for some reason I'm being stubborn and I want to finish it. Um, so if I'm going to pick any to finish, it's going to be this one. Um, but I... Wow, this is a weird combination. What, okay, Essential Art History, I'm super excited about this. The Diary of a Nice Man, I'm super excited about that. Nyal Sung, I'm, so, I'm excited about too. And Lee Miz, it's just they're all slow. This one's not slow. Technically it is. We'll see what happens. I might decide to get a little aggressive on reading this one. That might be where the page count um, comes from. This is a lot of pages. Okay, so for The Girl Who Played With Fire, 334. Uh, Diary of Aeneas Nin, 277. So that's about 600 altogether. Uh, Nyals, I have about 300, so that's 900. Essential Art History, 138. So 1,000 and a bit. And then Lima is 900. So this is 2,000. So that's officially the most pages, but that's because it's, I have Les Mis. Wow, I might need a bit of a different strategy this week. Oh, and also, geez, I was going to add Ghosts to this by Ibsen, um, but it's also a bit dry, but I really enjoyed it. But it is, I can't remember if it's supernatural or, or, or just sort of ghosts of the past, like, I don't remember. Um, but, um, I thought it would be an easy one to add this week. I might pick a different kind of easy one than a play that's like what, 200 years old. I can't remember. How old is this? Does it say? Uh, Ibsen was from 1829 to 1906. So not shy, so shy of 200. Did I do that math right? I'm not sure. Wow, okay, so that is a lot. Do you have any strategies for when you have a lot of slower reads? Should I adjust my page count goal? I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll pick five pages from everything and then the rest for the girl who played with fire. I think I will need a strategy this week, but I, as always, I spend the first day just timing my reading and seeing how these things go. But this... This is going to be tough. This is going to be a tough week. I'm not going to, I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I might need to pick like something bonus that's like a really, really fast, calm, happy read. This is also all pretty dark. Meows. Les Mis, Diamond Days Nin is very reflective. Girl who plays with fire. Yeah, I'm going to need something light. If you have any light, fast Maybe, um, maybe I'll read a contemporary romance or something. I, I don't want to start anything. Well, I will see what happens. Suggestions on reading lots of slow things at the same time would be welcome. And wish me luck. Okay, thank you so much for watching.